hello 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 welcome to our live show it is 103 um, p.m. in Brooklyn New York how are you all doing today today we are gonna talk about a coffee I am gonna share you show you how you can actually use coffee on the skin now if you know anything about coffee you'll know that it is rich in caffeine and caffeine have to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin have to brighten the skin it have to put circulation in the skin now coffee you can use it anywhere on the skin you can choose to use coffee on your face your neck your decollete you can also choose to use coffee in your hair you can use coffee all over your body so I'm going to share some tips and I'm going to share ways that you can use coffee on the skin welcome to the live show if you are new here a warm welcome to you if you have tried coffee before I would like to hear from you Jill I miss you yesterday I noticed you weren't on anyway I did give you your shout out so coffee 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 how many of you have tried coffee on your skin before if you have tried coffee on your skin go ahead and comment and also if you are using coffee let me know how you are using it on the skin so here I have some coffee beans and these are whole coffee beans now personally for me i like to use the whole coffee beans what i do with these beans and when you're looking for coffee to use on the skin try to get on a flavored coffee so you don't want the hazelnut you don't want the cake you don't want the you know you just want the plain old coffee bean no flavor whatsoever and most of the time you can find some of those like the house blend or whatever it will be a little flavorless so what I tend to do with the coffee beans I like to ground the coffee beans and now here I have some ground coffee you can choose to use a grinder or you can choose to use a um, you know just blend it up in your blender now after you grind that coffee beans it is now ground coffee beans and then what you're gonna do you are gonna brew but not all the tips that we're gonna share today have to do with brewed a coffee some is gonna be brewed some we're gonna be using the ground coffee so let me hear from all of you that are watching now so as I said we have the old coffee beans we have the ground coffee beans and we also have our brewed coffee how many of you drink coffee in the mornings I sometimes the honest truth is I like to drink coffee however I kind of limit myself so like a few weeks ago I was totally off coffee I wasn't drinking coffee any at all however I was using it on my skin so if you're using a coffee um, facial anywhere on your skin we want you to come in is our weekdays with Chichi pop-up live show hi Sandra Levy welcome to the live and Shari hi Shari NW welcome to the live and we have Cynthia beautiful and blessed to everyone now let me ask a question have you tried any of my coffee recipe if you have comment comment hi Carleen um that's Karen Mills welcome to the live and um it's nice to see you watching now if you have tried any of my coffee recipe go ahead now after the show is over you can look in the description box I put a photo four different coffee recipes however on our channel page you can go on you can just type in coffee and you're gonna see a wide variety of coffee recipes I think we have about 15 to 20 coffee recipe now the first tip or the first way that you can use coffee on the skin is to use it as an exfoliator when we talk about exfoliating the skin we mean that you're gonna use it as a scrub now there are different type of coffee scrub that you can use you can choose to use coffee for the face the neck and decollete and you can also choose to use coffee as a body scrub now let's focus on our coffee scrub our coffee a facial scrub now if you're you trying to make a facial scrub using coffee you do not need a lot of coffee all you need is about two tablespoons 
of the ground coffee. So here we have our coffee beans. And what you're gonna do, you are gonna grind or blend two tablespoons of the coffee, and then you're gonna get this ground coffee. You're gonna take your two tablespoons of coffee, you're gonna place it in a small bowl like this one, and you're gonna add some liquid to it. You can choose to add a little bit of a milk, you can choose to add some orange juice, you can choose to add some, um, some some soy milk you can also choose to add some grapefruit juice or you can even choose to add some green tea which is what i personally like to add as my liquid to my facial coffee scrub then you're going to go ahead and you're going to add a tip of oil any of your favorite oil in it so you are adding two tablespoons of ground coffee or blended coffee you're adding about two tablespoons of milk milk of choice and you're adding a about a half a teaspoon of your favorite oil and you're adding about a teaspoon of honey that you're gonna mix and mix well and you're gonna create an amazing anti-aging skin brightening coffee facial scrub you're gonna use this scrub on your face at least two to three times a week and it's gonna have to brighten lighten the skin also is how to clear hyperpigmentation on the skin. When you use the coffee on the skin, it helps to boost the circulation in the skin and it's gonna help your skin to look younger. And it's also gonna give your skin that natural glow. So if you have tried coffee on your skin before, comment. Now, if you want more exfoliating recipes using the coffee, just look in the description box because I place a few in the description box. So first way to use coffee on the skin is to use it as an exfoliator for your face, your neck, and your decollete. If you're just joining, welcome to our live show. It's all about coffee today. We're showing you how you can use coffee on the skin. Seven ways to use coffee on the skin. The first way you can use the coffee on the skin is to use it as an exfoliator. And I just share a quick and easy DIY homemade recipe for a facial scrub that you can use on um, to the coffee to make. Now let me take a few questions and we're gonna move on to tip number two, or number two, the second way that you can use coffee on the skin. Joy, hi Joy, Joy Lear. I'm using coffee on my face. It's uh, blown away, and that's what we like to hear. Now AM, coffee powder, coconut milk and air conditioner plus yogurt deep condition for the ear and we definitely gonna talk about that it is one of out of the seven um ways to use a coffee now um sherry's drinking coffee right now merit use the coffee is how i as a scrub marcia is from rhode island welcome to our live show cynthia means beautiful and Blessed day to everyone. And uh, if you have a comment, if you have any question, hi, Claudia. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Aminia, welcome to the live chat. Coffee is my favorite ingredient. I usually mix it with rice to make a coffee cream. And I'm telling you, we're going to get right there. Now, while you're watching this show, if you're on your social media page, just share the show right now on your Facebook page or even on your Instagram so we could have more people coming over. This week, we are going to be on Monday to Friday. We're having our pop-up show at the same time, 1 p.m. on Monday to Thursday, and on Friday, we're going to have the pop-up show at 6 p.m. So stay with us, come back tomorrow, and watch our weekdays with Chichi only for this week. We're doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1 p.m. And on Friday, we're going to be on at 6 p.m. So I want you all to come over. We're having some amazing topics to feature this week. And also, we want to have a show where we could invite some of you over this week. So if you want to be on our live show, just send your email and send your email to chichibeauty at gmail.com so you can be on one of our live pop-up show for this week. Don't be bashful. Come on over and enjoy a hour with us just talking about whatever the topic is. Jill, thank you, Chichi. I watched the entire show last night. Okay, I know you normally do. I just noticed you weren't, and I was like, ah, where is Jill? All right, so we are um, 
talking about coffee and we're sharing seven ways to use a coffee on the skin how to use coffee in your skincare routine what you missed just now we just shared a coffee recipe that you can use to exfoliate your skin and now we are going to talk about using coffee on the body this is the second tip that we're going to share we're going to share a coffee body scrub how many of you tried my coffee body scrub to make the coffee body scrub you will need your coffee beans and someone is asking about instant i always get that can you use the instant coffee to make your diy recipe the thing about the instant coffee is that it is crystallized that the process to get it you know with all those granules in it is you know an extra step so for me yes you can however if you have the fresh coffee i would prefer for you to use the regular coffee now there are some coffee that you can buy at the in some little package and those are also plain coffee ground coffee little package they're out there depending on where you live i prefer for you to skip the instant however if that's all you have definitely use it on the skin so to make the body scrub how many of you have tried my body scrub now let me be honest with you one of my favorite scrub to use on my skin personally is one of my coffee body scrub one of my coffee body scrub why is that so because it's just good it's is amazing so we take our coffee beans and we blend it to a powder after i blend it to a powder i grate some lemon zest and some lime zest in the coffee the, the the ground coffee once that is done I add a little bit of uh, essential oil, essential oil of your choice. I personally like to add the lavender essential oil to it. And then I add some coconut oil. Now I have some recipes on my channel with body scrub using coffee. Some of them is different from the one I'm sharing today. Now after I had that essential oil and that little bit of uh, coconut oil then i go back in and i had soy milk that's the new thing i'm using i also sometimes use green tea and i also uh, sometimes use rose water i mix that up and i just go in my shower and i exfoliate my entire body now you can choose to exfoliate anywhere your armpit you just do your thing and you're gonna have that amazing fragrance coming from the coffee don't shy away from using the coffee on your skin coffee will have to exfoliate the skin you have dark looking neck go ahead and try my coffee scrub using the lemon and the lime zest if you have dark underarm pit definitely go ahead and use that coffee you can also choose to squeeze a little of the lemon or lime juice in that coffee to make that scrub the recipe is below this video so if you're looking for a recipe using the coffee as a body scrub look below you're gonna see a few or also go on my YouTube page and you're gonna find even more coffee so the second way you can use coffee on the on your skin is to use it as a body scrub now i have two videos on my channel page using coffee one i'm using the coffee to get rid of darker inner thighs the second one i'm using the coffee and this is one thing that i personally do that i love i use the coffee as a scrub to exfoliate my buttocks yes the cheekbones and all of that just rub it and it's exfoliated especially now that the summertime is coming up I like to wear shorts how many of you like wearing shorts I don't really wear the booty shorts that go all the way you know showing that part but I like when that area is nice clear and bright coffee scrub okay coffee scrub and I have a recipe using coffee to make that body scrub for your your buttocks so definitely definitely check that scrub out it is just that good so that's another way that you can use the coffee on your skin now let's talk about a cellulite how many of you struggle with a cellulite if you're just joining we're sharing seven tips or seven ways that you can use coffee on the skin we share a facial scrub just now and right now we just wrapping up sharing a body scrub 
and we are going to move on so stay tuned and if you're just joining and you didn't give us a thumbs up go ahead and give us a thumbs up now is there anyone watching today that has actually tried my coffee body scrub if you're trying my coffee body scrub comment 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 and is there anyone watching today hi key how are you watching today that has never ever tried coffee on the skin go ahead and comment comment oh so we have eat it i've never tried a coffee scrub you are definitely missing out you need to try and try one of mine they are really really good and not because i made them but i use them and i see especially the coffee bot scrub you can check that video out get a lot of views because it works it is really amazing so who else is watching here that has not yet i get um key how long does it take to let me see what you're saying key take to see a change in the inner ties and buttocks era i am 40 days from jamaica all right so wish i was going with your key all right so definitely within a week you should see some lightning to the area if you use it every other day on the skin within two weeks it's gonna be totally changed use it every other day and you are gonna see the result if you're using it for two two three weeks and nothing is happening something is definitely wrong but definitely try to use that coffee your buttocks and also your inner thighs and it will have to clear those areas up check out the recipe that I post and I have some link on there here and try one of those recipe if you're just joining and you have a question Cynthia I've not tried on our oh Cynthia you have never tried a coffee on your skin well we're sharing some recipes and guess what down below we have some recipes and I just shared some live ones that you can actually try I personally love the coffee and the way you can make this coffee scrub the sky is the limit because you can have once you have that ground coffee you can have just about whatever you like to use and here is a little tip for some of you who are on the lazier side if you have this ground coffee and you have your any old shower gel in your bathroom you can go ahead and squeeze some of that shower gel in the ground coffee and use it to exfoliate your skin any shower gel you're using in the bathroom freshly um, ground coffee and that is gonna exfoliate your skin with a little bit of a soap sound to it and that is gonna mm, just blow your mind with that amazing fragrance and exfoliating that your skin is getting smooth soft skin once you're done Marcia Bradshaw I used to use a uh, uh, a rise of flavored coffee sugar on your body scrub smell wonderful and that is what we want to hear the coffee is gonna help to transform your skin now um let's see who else is watching I am going to try tonight definitely Queen Yari I teach you I like your YouTube page but you use a lot of stuff on your skin that confused me because I have allergies and uh, let me I like this question because every time I go in my comment I always get a question like this. I always hear people like, why do you use so many things on your skin? Now, personally for me, and if you are a follower of my channel, you might also notice that it's really not a lot of things that we use on the skin, on the channel. Most of the ingredients are repeat. If you really pay attention, we repeat the ingredients. We just switch it up a bit. We just get very, very creative with the ingredients. We have a few base that we use on the skin like we're using the coffee on the skin we use oatmeal on the skin we use rice on the skin we also use a bit of a baking soda on the skin we also use um, sugar on the skin those are some of the main base that we use we use stuff like aloe vera on the skin we use a, a wide variety of oils on the skin the same oils the same base but we just you know make some new products using the same ingredients so why are you confused now here how i'm going to justify this for you not all the recipes that we made are for everyone okay if we're making a recipe and acne you do not have acne on your skin that is not for you however to support the channel you watch the video 
and give it a like if you like you know the way we create the way we um get a little creative with the recipe you give it a, a like and you share it now if you find a recipe you want there post a recipe and you're like oh my goodness i like that that is the one you try because we post a video every day you cannot use everything not everything is for you you do not have wrinkles and fine lines i post a video this is gonna have to reduce the wrinkles and fine lines and you feel like oh this is not for me then you leave it alone but still watch it that's how you support your favorite channel all right so we are moving on and always find one that you think you can tolerate you have you don't get confused watch my 25 day skincare challenge we break it down for you how to basically discover your skin type knowing your skin type knowing exactly what you want for your skin whether you want to lift tighten from the skin whether you want to clear hyperpigmentation from the skin whether you want your skin to look glass like whether you want your skin to have a natural glow whether you want to 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 to, to erase puffy eyes or eye bags just choose what you want zoom in on your skin type and most of the recipes we made we're going to tell you if this is good for your skin type yes or no so check out the 25 days skincare challenge so that you won't be confused anymore you definitely will break everything down for you i take the time to answer this question because i get this a lot and some people come on and sometimes people are even rude like why do you use so much things on your skin so as i said if you watch the recipes you will notice that most of the base ingredients we keep repeating it but we just get very creative with it thank you for that question and i was so happy to answer it to clarify now what are the recipes the recipes are down in the description box below or go on my channel page and you're gonna find a wide variety of recipe know your skin type once you know your skin type know exactly what you want for your skin and those are the recipes that you try on the skin and also you can tweak all my recipe to suit yourself and normally we give a wide variety of substitute ingredient that you can use instead of the ones that we are using if you're just joining we're talking about coffee we're sharing tips and how to use coffee on the skin we talk about exfoliating the skin so far that's what you miss we talk about exfoliating the entire body with a coffee scrub and we also talk about using the coffee as a scrub for your neck your armpit your buttocks how to lift and tighten and firm those areas using the coffee now coffee up the boot circulation it is great for wrinkles and fine lines and guess what guys here is tip number three I know it's more than three so far but anyway here is tip number three number three is to use coffee as an under eye treatment for dark under eye circles eye bags and puffy eyes I totally forget to put one of those recipe on there but they're on my channel page now most people uh, there's many a pe plenty of people that swear by the coffee for your under eyes how many of you have tried any of my recipes using the coffee for dark under eye circles eye bags and puffy eyes if you have tried it comment 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 and if you have tried the coffee and it's not one of my recipes i'm also asking you to comment also now how do you use the coffee for your dark under eye circles now we're going to jump into the coffee liquid. So what you're going to do, you are going to take those coffee beans, you are going to ground the coffee beans, and next you are going to definitely brew the coffee. Now if you do not have a coffee maker, what went on with my light just now? It's kind of, yeah, kind of get a little dim. If you do not have a coffee maker, how can you... Let me see what's going on with my light a little bit. It's kind of like, anyway, or oh, probably the sun outside. Kind of, anyway, let's go on. Now, if you do not ha have a coffee maker, you can still go ahead and brew your coffee. Brewing your coffee is pretty, pretty easy. All you need is hot water, believe it or not. All you need is hot water. So you're going to take your ground coffee. You definitely have to blend it up like this. And what you're going to do, you're going to pour some hot water over it. Once you pour that hot water, you cover it, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, and then you go back and you strain it off and you let it cool and you get your brewed coffee. 
Now, if you have a coffee maker, then you really do not need to do that. When I was growing up, my stepmother, we didn't have a coffee maker. We did not have a coffee maker, and that is the truth. However, uh, my stepmom liked coffee a lot. So what she used to do, the same method I'm telling you, she put the pot on the fire, she wait until the water is boiling, she dumped the brown coffee in, 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 in the, the water, and then she turned the stove off and let it sit for 10, 10 minutes or so. Then she strained it off, and that's how we get the brewed coffee. It used to taste different though, yes. To me, it tastes different. <laughs> However, those were like coffee fresh, from the tree basically because um quick quick thing about me let me tell you something really really quick something about me my upbringing my grandmother we have coffee on i'm gonna say farm okay we have a lot of land and we have coffee we have a lot of things on the land but we also have coffee we have enough coffee on the land that we were able to sell the coffee we cannot use all of that coffee we get people to pick the coffee, bucket and bucket and bucket of coffee. That's how much it is. I even know what it tastes like just to take a ripe coffee bean and just suck on it like that. Now, what they normally do, whatever coffee they're saving for themselves, they throw it on a bag, like some things they call crocus bags, and they just throw that coffee bean on the bag and let it stay out in the sun and it dry in the sun. Once it is dried, it's going to take a few days or so, maybe way over a week for the coffee beans to be dried. And these are the old school way of making coffee, guys. So once it is dry, then they're going to take the coffee up. The only thing I don't remember is, I don't remember if, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I'm missing a step. I'm missing a step. What they do when the coffee is, they're going to wash the coffee first. That's the part I forget. They wash the coffee because they're taking off the flesh of the coffee and then they're only going to leave the coffee beans. Once that is done, then they throw that coffee beans on, um, you know, crocus bag and they let it stay um, somewhere out there in the yard somewhere and it's going to take some few days. It's going to dry. After the coffee has been dried, then they're going to take that coffee. They're going to make a big old fire. Those days, yes, this is how I was raised. Those days they have um, outside fire where they get like the wood fire, like some stone or something like that. They put that big old pot of coffee and they take this big spoon and they stir and they stir and they stir and they stir the dry coffee beans. And that is the way they make the coffee bean that is now good enough. Roasted coffee beans, that is. That is now good enough to grind or blend to make your coffee. So now that you know, guys, for some of you who don't know this kind of a way to make coffee, it's still the same way they're doing it. It's just that it's more commercialized now where they have all these machines that is going to dry it, that is going to um, roast it, and that's how you end up getting your coffee in your little bag in your grocery store. So there is a little lesson for you and how they normally, and probably some people that still have coffee, get their coffee so what i was telling you once we get that ground coffee no without a coffee maker we just throw that coffee in that hot boiling water and turn it off and you get your brew coffee so we're going back to talking about if you're just joining how to get your coffee to this stage and how to use it to make your coffee cream for your under eyes or your coffee serum for your under eyes are your coffee rinse off for your under eyes so here is the first way to use it you can choose to take just this plain old coffee after you brew it get some cotton pads soak those chill it first though make sure it's very very cold get some coffee um cotton pads soaking it and put it over your eyes put it over your eyes and chill with it for at least 30 minutes and then you're going to take it off you have eye bags you wake up one morning and didn't get enough sleep. You're tired. You're stressed out. You look those bags just looking like at you and like hello, hello, hello. Use that some of your little coffee from the coffee pot and soak it and put it over your eyes. It's gonna help to get rid of those eye bags and puffy eyes. More so, puffy eyes fast. Eye bags is gonna take a period of time, but the puffy eyes that you 
tired, lack of sleep, is gonna get rid of that. That's the plain old coffee. Now, here is how you make an amazing coffee nighttime under eyes treatment. You get your freshly brewed coffee like this. Make sure that it is cold. And you're gonna add some, a little bit of a kiwi oil, a little bit of a cucumber seed oil. Now those are two oils that some of you might not have. So here's the next best one. A little bit of a coconut oil. Coconut oil is a very good oil to use under your eyes. And you can also use some grape seed oil, you know, to mix it and get your blender or a whisk. You whisk that up, you put a little olive vera gel in it, and voila, you have a cream for your under eyes using coffee, as easy as that. You can't, you do not want to make this recipe, you want it in written form, look below, you're gonna see a wide variety of recipes, or go on my channel page. Another way that you can use the coffee under your eyes, you're gonna get a tablespoon of yogurt, a tablespoon of this coffee, you're gonna mix the two together, Add a little dash of honey in it, and you are gonna soak the cotton pad with that, put it under your eyes, and you're gonna let it sit. That same remedy, you can take a little on your finger, dab it under your eyes, and you can go to sleep with it. How many of you have ever tried, have tried any of my coffee recipe for your under eyes? Comment, 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 comment. Tommy, can you use coffee that comes? Yes, already. Ground. I'm gonna give you another secret really really quick about coffee and uh, I think I shared this with you before if when you buy even when you're buying the coffee beans all right this is coffee beans right sometimes depending on the brand that you buy if you look closely at the coffee beans you might notice that not all of them is beans now it's a little secret check it out for yourself it might all of this might not be beans it might be mixed with something else so to answer your question about ground coffee do i suggest you use it yes go ahead and use the ground coffee however what you might not know is that they do add corn to the coffee to stretch it when they ground it okay not a lot nothing for you to even know that corn is in it but they have a couple of grains of corn to stretch it so when you buy your ground already ground coffee it, you probably have a little corn in it when you buy the coffee beans you can look so they ain't gonna take the chance with it that much and you might be able to see a few different things in it which might be the um, a few corn grains however you're gonna find that mostly in flavored coffee. When you buy the plain old coffee, you might be um, you know, better off than buying flavored coffee. That's for your tea. And that is why we suggest that you, you know, definitely be careful when you're buying your coffee, take a look. But the card is also good for your skin. Don't worry about it. It's not a deal breaker. Use whatever you have. Go ahead, get your ground coffee, use it. Don't even think about the corn. But I just want you all to know that that that's happening. Okay? They do put a little corn. How do I know so much about coffee? I just told you I was raised basically on a coffee farm. Not a coffee farm, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, it wasn't a big farm like that, but we do have a lot of coffee. Any question for coffee for your other eyes? We're gonna move on. So we're sharing tips, at least some tips, and how to use coffee on the skin. If you're just joining, we talk about coffee facial scrub. We talk about coffee body scrub. We talk about using coffee for the buttocks area, and lightening and brightening darker area on the areas on the body. And now we're talking about using coffee to get rid of eye fat, puffy eyes. And we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper, talking about dark on the eye circle. What parish I'm from? I'm from the biggest a largest parish um, um, in Jamaica and that is st. Catherine all right so we are can instant coffee work we just talk about the difference with the freshly ground coffee to the instant coffee is that they use a process to crystallize those coffee um, granules and that is why you get some that you almost looking like sugar so you can use it but if you that if that's all you have, but if you have the fresh coffee beans, we prefer for you to use that the unflavored coffee beans. All right, so um, we are moving on, and um, I've been looking for this cucumber seed oil for, from when you mentioned it. I have not found it yet. 
when can I okay so look in the description box below you're gonna see a link you can find the cucumber seed oil and places like Amazon I have an Amazon link below or go in my Amazon storefront you will find that cucumber seed oil um, any other question we're taking some question if you're just joining we're sharing seven tips and how to use coffee on the skin joy my grandmother put it in front oh you know about the mata yes so guess what before they have um, anyone know what a mata is a mata is like a wooden thing a wooden um, a wooden hole help me out guys a round wooden bowl it's not a bowl it's like a long thing and if you do not have a blender and yes yeah, I'm old school okay we never grew up well later on we did get a blender to be honest but as a kid no blender if you don't have a blender and you don't have a grinder because these things was electric okay what they normally use is the mortar and they use the mortar to um they have a thing in the market. They still have some little ones, like you could grind your black pepper. Just think about that uh, bigger, okay? And they would take this thing and they would pound, 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 and it come out just like this. You know what we normally use that mostly for um, joy? They normally use that for the cocoa. And yes, we did have cocoa too. So <laughs> the cocoa beads, all right? So um, I think I shared that with some of my sub subscribers before. And we also have cocoa in abundance where we normally did sell the cocoa in bar, bar um, buckets and buckets of cocoa you normally just go pick the cocoa chop it open scoop it out and then big truck normally pass by and then we would sell all of that cocoa beans to the you know to the truck all right so we are moving on we're talking about mata some of you nowadays it's like the little small ones is like um cliche to have one of those little martyr thing and a little thing in it and some if you look like on a lot of YouTube videos especially for those um, that like to have their decor in natural and cream most of them have one of those little martyr they don't use it but the little small one with a little thing in it some of them probably don't know what it is and they normally use it for decoration but it can you know grind that black pepper their salt and what else we use as grains and you could also grind some coffee in it all right so we are moving on and I use um, would use long ago for fufu yes depend if you're like in African places like that they use it and some people still very much today use pastel that's what they're pastel that's what they're calling it today yes 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 but it's really mortal all right so we are moving on a wooden bowl with a stick with a blunt end used for grinding spice yes that's it's it all right guys so if you're just joining i have coca tea fresh in Ooh, queen yari lucky ill saint mary my aunt made it it's so good all right i just thought you said lucky bali i was like what anyway so yes fresh coca tea i grew up eating that drinking that and i still today whenever my family is coming to visit i always ask them to bring the cocoa Okay, they make it in bars and they sell it. And years ago, you have to grate it and then you throw it in. The new style, the new generation, they're still drinking it, but they don't grate it. They just throw it all in the pot and it melts. Look how many years we spend um, grating the cocoa to put it in the pot when the new, new generation just come and drop it in the pot. How come we didn't know that it could melt? Anyway, we're moving on. We're talking about how to use coffee on the skin how to use coffee on the skin can't find the like button guys can you direct daba to the like button the like button is right below the video you are watching you're gonna see it on like this you're gonna see it on like that click on the one with your uh, finger or your mouse for uh, the thumbs up now Chichi, can i sleep with kiwi face mask on my skin yes you can but here is how I know we're not talking about kiwi but I like to answer my subscribers if you're gonna use the kiwi to make a facial mask and you want to sleep with it I would suggest that you just use the juice use the juice from the kiwi get some um, cornstarch 
or some flaxseed gel, mix it in, and that is gonna create a nice overnight facial mask. And that one is gonna dry on your skin. If you just blend that kiwi and use it on your skin, it's gonna mess your sheet up, and that is the truth. But if you get the kiwi juice, you juice that kiwi, you put it in some flaxseed gel, or you put it in some cornstarch gel, use that as an overnight facial mask. Make sure the gel that you're using is totally cooled before you add the kiwi juice. If you're just joining, we're talking about how to use coffee on the skin. We just talk about using it as an eye cream and leave on. Now I'm gonna give you a quick and easy coffee on the eye syrup. You're gonna take two tablespoons of your coffee. You're gonna take one tablespoon of aloe vera gel, as simple as that. You are gonna take a dash of honey, like just a little bit, you don't want it to be sticky, just a little dash of honey. And if you have vegetable glycerine, you're gonna take about a half a teaspoon of the vegetable glycerine. You mix that all together, and there you have a quick and easy DIY homemade under eye serum. This is gonna help to reduce wrinkles under the eyes and also clear pigmentation under the eyes. Now, if you have dark circles, here is a quick recipe using the coffee liquid, brewed coffee under your eyes. You're gonna get some parsley juice, yes, I said it, and you're gonna take some um, coffee, put that in a blender, blend it up together, and then you are gonna strain it. Once you strain it, then you are definitely gonna use that. You can add a little aloe vera gel to it. For those of you who was asking about the wide variety of things we use, notice it's the same turnaround in a different form that we're using. And you're gonna put it under your eyes at night and that's gonna help to clear up the dark on the eye circle. Why it's gonna clear up the dark on the eye circle? How does it work? It's gonna boost the circulation. And most of the time when you have the dark on the eyes uh, circles, you all know that that sometimes is from lack of circulation. So you're gonna use the coffee like that. If you want more coffee recipes for your on the eyes, just go on my channel page, click on the playlist for eye bags, dark on the eye circles remedies, and you're gonna find some more coffee um, recipes for your dark on the eyes and also for wrinkles. And now we are gonna move on. I mentioned cellulite, but I think I didn't dive deep into it, which is another way that you can use coffee on the skin. If you have cellulite, spider veins, or even varicose veins, you can choose to use coffee. Now here is what's gonna blow some of your mind away. Coconut oil and coffee for cellulites. Petroleum jelly and coffee for cellulite. How do you make these two? You are gonna take a tablespoon of the petroleum jelly. Let's use the petroleum jelly first. Um, cellulite, varicose veins, and even spider veins. You're gonna melt the petroleum jelly. Once the petroleum jelly is melt, then you're gonna put, place it in a blender. You're gonna take two tablespoons of the coffee. You're gonna add that to the blender. You're gonna get some Vicks Vapor Rub. Yes, Vicks Vapor Rub. You're gonna take a teaspoon of the Vicks Vapor Rub. You can choose to melt the Vicks Vapor Rub when you're melting the petroleum jelly. You can melt the two together. Add that to the blender, and you're gonna take a little bit of your coconut oil or any of your favorite oil, and then add a teaspoon to the blender. You're gonna blend that up, and that is gonna make a cream that you can use to massage. I'm using the word massage, the areas where you have your varicose veins, your cellulite, and also your spider veins. That is gonna boost circulation from the coffee. And also, the fact that you had the, um, the Vicks paper up to it, that is further gonna wake the skin up, so it's good. And we have a few recipes on our channel using the coffee for your varicose veins, your spider veins, and also your, your cellulite. And also, guys, you can use that on stretch marks. These are DIY recipes, homemade, that you can try, okay? If you use it, it's not working for you, then try something else. However, the honest truth is, any of these recipes that you dedicate yourself to, that I'm sharing with the coffee, you're gonna see results. But don't use it today and don't use it next week and come back and use it one day and come and say, oh, it didn't work. You gotta use it every day. So that's how you can use coffee on your skin to help you to, to boost circulation so that it could shrink 
those miracle spins, those satellites, and also lighten those uh, stretch marks. Any question, comment, comment, comment. If you're just joining, we're talking about, we're sharing some tips. Not sure what number of apps, probably seven already, of how you can use coffee on the skin. Now, someone at the top of the hour talk about, um, mention how to use the coffee in your hair. We also have that on uh, us one of the seven. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try to find a recipe since she was, you know, a little step ahead of me. So here is what AM have: coffee for your hair. She's using coconut milk, turmeric powder, rice powder, and yo yogurt, and that is what she's using. Coffee. Okay, no, that's the coffee face spa. Sorry, that's not the one I was looking for. Someone earlier mentioned how to use the coffee as a hair mask. If you search the, the live chat, you might find it. I'm not seeing it right now. Now, how do you use coffee as a hair mask? Do not use the brown coffee. What you're gonna use is the brewed coffee. And I'm gonna give you a quick and easy tip. You have shampoo at home. When you're gonna wash your hair, brew the coffee, brew it really, really strong. And take a tablespoon or depending on how much um, shampoo you're using in your hand, take a, a little, the amount you normally wash your hair with, put a teaspoon of that strong brewed coffee in that shampoo, rub it up and wash your hair with it. It's gonna get rid of dandruff on the scalp. It's also gonna bur boost circulation. So if you have tin in hair, that is gonna help. And it's also gonna help your hair to look shiny. Really, really good. If you have not tried that before, try it. Make the coffee very very strong okay you want it to strong be strong almost like you're making espresso that's how you're gonna make that one add it in your shop when yes you can also add it in your conditioner that is gonna help with your um dry scalp dandruff and also help your hair to look naturally shiny and glossy help to get rid of tin in here and ball spot anyone have tried the coffee in your hair before go ahead and comment 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 now we're moving on because i am i have seven but i know i have some more that i would like to mention hi ron colin welcome to um the live show i um i'm thinking you're my dj right <laughs> i think i think i think you're um my dj welcome i think you're um first time seeing you watching the live and yes i threw a party some time ago and i think this is my dj all right so another party coming up this year just so you know ron all right so we are moving on um violet carson absolute okay she is so amazing and so thank you so much for that jill chichi always look beautiful thank you so much for that amarita um amita um, Gigi, oh, okay, so those are some compliments. Thank you so much. Oh, Ron, is your third time watching. Thank you for joining. So today we are talking about coffee. Aminia, coffee on the ear is awesome. I actually mix with the brown coffee directly in the shampoo. Now, the reason why I suggest Aminia that you actually brewed the coffee because of the granules. When you mix it in the shampoo, sometimes you have to be brushing out your hair to get rid of the fine granules so it's always best and smoother when you brewed the coffee and you know you get your um brewed coffee to mix in the shampoo as i said i suggest that you mix it that you brew it really 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 strong if you're just joining we're sharing tips and how to use coffee on the skin we are using coffee beans today we are using ground coffee and we're also using freshly brewed coffee what did you miss so far we talk about using coffee as an exfoliator to exfoliate your face your neck and your decollete we talk about using coffee as a body scrub to exfoliate your entire body if you want those recipes when the show is over just rewind because we've been we're just adding out recipes today and um, a wide variety of recipes using the coffee diy homemade recipes so definitely check it out and if you can bother to rewind look below in the description box we have a few amazing some amazing ones that you can try at home we just talk about using coffee in your hair we're going to take a few questions oh coconut oil that is where i was out to use the coconut oil for your hair 
Now, growing up, I use coconut oil in my hair. If you use coconut oil in your hair as a kid or is still using coconut oil, raise your hand. Just comment, 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 comment. Coconut oil was the ear oil, okay? The ear oil. You can actually mix coconut oil with petroleum jelly. I said it. A lot of you don't know that's a, um, well, nowadays, sometimes they have different base, but back then, the base for any ear, ear moisturizer, ear cream, ear remedy, whatever it is that you use in your hair after you wash it, normally a petroleum jelly in it, okay? So, mixing it with coconut oil. But for us, growing up, we use a lot of coconut oil in our hair. And it helps our hair to look amazing. Today, I still use coconut oil in my hair. I love it, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I love to use coconut oil in my hair. So, you're going to take that coconut oil. You are going to add some coffee to it, the strong coffee, the ones that you brew really, really strong, and you're going to blend the two together. Blend the two together is going to come out creamy, and you're going to use that as your hair oil for your scalp, dandruff, thinning hair, bald spot, and guess what you could add to that? A little touch of a castor oil. Mix that up and use it in your hair. And guess what, guys? Also, if you find that your hair is just looking dry just use it in your hair and it's going to help your hair to be shiny body cellulite out is um out. okay you just missed that alina we just share a full recipe and how to use the coffee for cellulite spider veins and varicose veins you can rewind and you could get the full recipe or you can try the one that we have in the description box below now, Queen Yari coconut oil is very penetrating. Thank you for that. Hi, Margaret. Welcome to the live. So today we share way more than seven tips and how to get how to use a coffee on the skin. We have more. We have more. How many of you have rough, dry, crack feet, heels, toes, your toenails? Everything is just dry. Guess what? Coffee to the rescue. Now, what I like about using the coffee on the feet is that you can actually turn it into a whole spa day. Yes, a whole spa day. If you are lucky enough to have one of those foot spa bought, the one that you put plug in, bubble up on your feet, you are good. But if you don't have that, not to worry. I know a lot of people nowadays don't have what we call like a, I don't know, I'm Jamaican, so I'm going to say bond pond. <laughs> Tell me if you guys have a different name for it, okay? Some some people still bear their baby in these things. You know what I'm talking about. We call it bod pond. I don't know if they have another name for it. Little tops, okay? Little tops, okay? You can that you can actually put your foot in, your two feet in that thing. Basin. Thank you so much for that, Marcia. Basin, right? <laughs> oh my brains freeze. All right. So if you have one of that. You can actually brown the coffee beans. You can actually throw about a cup of ground coffee in that pan. Whether you have the bubbly one or you have just the homemade one that you're gonna make and put your foot in that baser, you're gonna put some baking soda or some apple cider vinegar or both mixed with this coffee. Pour it in that basin or in your little foot spa and you can add any favorite essential oil. I like eucalyptus oil for this or peppermint oil for this. And you are going to just soak your feet in that for about 30 minutes. And then you are going to take your little feet scrub brush or, you know, the scraper thing if you have excess um, colors on your feet. And guess what? Your feet are going to thank you for it later because they're going to be so soft. You can clean out your toenails when you finish soaking in between. You just take off all that roughness from your feet. Yes, coffee is going to do that for you. And on top of that, you can actually, when you mix the apple cider vinegar and the baking soda, before you put your foot in the bath, you can take a little of it and you can exfoliate the top of your feet with it exfoliate all the way up to your ankle and then you just put your foot and let that soak that is gonna help 
your feet to look good. Remember, guys, do not only focus on your face, your neck, and your decollete. Your entire body needs to look good. You want, especially now that it is summer, it is summertime, you know, depending on where you live. I know it's going into winter in Australia. However, here um, in um, New York City is summertime. America is summertime. You want to be able to wear your clothes. You want your entire skin to look nice and bright. And that is why you're going to take care of not only your face, but your entire body all the way down to your toes. Okay. Nowadays, you're wearing your little slippers. You want your foot to look good. You don't want when you look down like, oh my goodness, let me hide my ear. They're not looking too good. No, so you're going to take care of down there, right? So you can actually use the coffee beans to do that. Exfoliate your feet, soak your feet with it. When you dry your feet after you're all done, go ahead and add your favorite oil or your favorite foot cream or your favorite whatever you use, petroleum jelly, coconut oil. Rub that on your feet, and your feet will thank you for it later. If you're just joining, we're sharing seven tips. I know it's about 20 now of how to use coffee on the skin. So we came with some um, coffee beans. We ground it to coffee, ground coffee, and we brew some to coffee. And we use all of this, okay? We use all of this. We use the ground coffee for exfoliating and we use a good coffee for making our facial moisturizer i post a video two weeks ago with the coffee moisturizer that is an amazing i think so far we're at like a hundred and sixty something k views which we post i think last week or the week before using the, it's really a good facial moisturizer you guys need to check it out i think i put it in the description box below also so now we're nearing our one hour. We want to take some questions from you. If you're just joining, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you have not never used coffee on your skin before, go ahead and comment. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and comment so we could give you a shout out. If you're a new sub subscriber, go ahead and comment. Comment, 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 and let me hear from you. I'm calling, calling. My face is burnt. Please, what can I do? What did you use on your face? I need to know. If it's from the sun, the aloe vera gel will have. Now, there are several ways that you can use the aloe vera gel for sunburn. You can use a fresh aloe vera gel. You can rub it on your face and let it sit on your face for about an hour, 30 minutes or so, rinse off, or you can get a store-bought aloe vera gel that is at least 95% um, fresh, 95% real aloe vera gel. And you can use that one and it will help with your sunburn if that is what you're asking, because I don't really see your comment. And um, I'll have, uh, um, Alivante one, welcome to the live show. Aloe vera for burn, I think. Thank you for that, Jill. Joy, so true. Ilma, hi, Ilma. I put coffee on my face. Very, very good. If you have a question, if you're just joining, comment, comment, comment. What did you miss today? You miss a wide variety of recipes that we share with you today. How to use the coffee on the skin, not only your face and body, but also your hair all the way down to your feet. Now, coffee for the lips. How, oh, one more thing I have on my paper, acne. If you have acne scars, acne, well, most of my subscribers might not, but you might have someone with acne, the coffee will also help. And it's also make a great exfoliator. You blend the coffee to a powder finer than any just powdered form. You make a nice paste with it and you use that on the acne. Put a little bit of a tea tree oil in the coffee and exfoliate your face gentle. That is gonna help to get to, to, to get rid of the acne on your face. And also, if you have large pores, you can choose to take some clay mask, some clay powder, and you could pour some coffee in the clay powder, mix a nice paste, use it on your face, that is going to have to suck out all that impurity from the skin, and that is going to clean those pores out and have to shrink those large pores. I'm taking questions right now, guys. So if you have a question, comment, comment, comment. The cream I use, okay, so you're using the cream, and maybe you're using, and that is why you need to read the ingredient. If you want to know how to read ingredients, go back and watch some of my 25 day skincare challenge because sometimes we come on and we do shows where we just tell you exactly how to read ingredient. 
Violet Carson, thank you for the genuine tips. You are amazing, and I appreciate all of what you shared to help, but blessing to you in abundance. And I need all of that, so thank you for that. Thank you for that comment. If you're new and you're watching for the first time, go ahead and comment right now. I'd like to give you a shout out. If you have any question for me, go ahead and comment. This week, we are on every day, Monday to Thursday. We're going to be on tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1 p.m., the same time today. And we're coming with some amazing tips for your skin. If you want to be on any of those shows, send to chichibuti at gmail.com. We'll get you on the show. We'll tell you about the topic. On Friday, we're going to be on at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. If you want to watch that show, definitely join us at 6 p.m. We're going to post a video right after this show. We want you to watch it and we want you to share it on your social social media page. I now have a guide, guys, in terms of how long I do the live show. You all know that sometimes I just go over the live show, but now I am learning to stick to the one hour. So, hi, Marit. Welcome. So, we have Darlena, who is new, new to the live. Welcome to our live show. We have, um, I gotta set my alarm, definitely set your alarm. Um, Ayan, thank you for your show. Um, I've just come in. How do you prepare the coffee paste, please? The prepare a coffee paste. Um, well, we talk about so many different ones. We take our coffee beans. If you have to use the coffee beans, we blend the coffee to a powder. And you can also go ahead and brew the coffee. If you want to make a coffee paste, definitely use the coffee paste with some flat, the coffee, brew coffee with some flaxseed gel or even some cornstarch gel. Or just take the ground coffee, add a little bit of an oil to it, as powdered form that is and mix it in a paste or you can use some milk to make the coffee paste okay and you can rewind because we actually share some tips with you and how to make the coffee paste using other ingredients using a strong cream you should always do a skin test yes anything that you're gonna use on the skin all even though all my recipes are natural ingredients if you have sensitive skin always pass patch test before you apply all over your face now that's my time today guys how to use coffee seven ways maybe 20 ways to use coffee on the skin if you're just joining and you want some of the recipes that we shared today just rewind the video watch it over all we're asking you to do to support our channel is to share this right now on your Facebook page for those of you watching from YouTube still share it on your Facebook page and if you're watching from Facebook, just share the link right now. That's how you have your favorite channel. I'm trying your aloe vera, cornstarch, and green tea. Mm, 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 mm. Amazing. Now, any recipe that I use for moisturizer or for your skin and I use green tea, you can substitute the coffee, okay? If you're new to coffee and I so get so used to the green tea, go ahead and try the coffee. It's going to work just as well as the green tea because we're using both the coffee and both the, the 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 green tea for the coffee thank you so much for joining thank you for watching watch the videos that you missed look out at 3 30 we're going to post a video today watch it comment watch at least half of the video come back tomorrow at 1 p.m and watch our live show be good to yourself love yourself thank you claudia for always making sure that we get X amount of thumbs up. Love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.